Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor. And I am here with a haul video, long overdue video. I have not been on here for quite a while, mainly because life happened. That's all it is. But I want to go straight into the haul. Um... The first thing I want to show you is that I got received, and I got this before craft day earlier this month. Um, and it's the pop-up card die. Um, this is one of the auto ships. And um, <clears throat> it, it it's really a nice uh the die it really cuts really really nice and all of her fan dies uh the pop-up card dies are really um beautiful and um i cut it out so not to you can actually see it because just seeing it on the actual plate itself was not um very cute hi miss laura thank you for joining me um, so yeah, when you look at it like this, it's not that appealing, but I cut it out so you can actually see what it looked like. And it is so beautiful. The um, I didn't cut out a card base for it. I just cut out the shadow layer. But when you close it, you close it in like that. But it is so beautiful. The fan really will add something extra to whatever card you add to it and whatever sentiment you put in there. I would even go as far as saying you could cut out this center part and put your sentiment in there also, and it'll look wonderful. Hi, Ms. Ware. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you. Um, life. Life. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Thank you for joining me. Um, I have been missing. Um, I have videos already in my computer decided they wanted to eat up all of my videos and then after that I was so frustrated that I didn't make any more videos <laughs> so I decided to come on today because I said maybe it's just I just need to just get over myself <laughs> so this right here is the auto ship for the twirl um die and these are the cutest little things You know, like is the see. I like it. I I I. But I like all of the pop ups. That's why, except like, <coughs> excuse me. I don't like like the pop ups and and um. What do you call them things? Uh, the cakes and all of that three D stuff. That's the one I don't like. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing good, like physical body type things. Mentally, not so much because of um, just life. Period. You know, you get them times where you need to just step back from everything. That's what I needed. I needed a step back from everything. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, I have been keeping myself busy, though, so I have a lot of stuff I have been making. I just haven't been putting a camera on. That's what it is. It was like, yeah, you, you, I enjoy the, the making and the video, but y'all don't want to see me what I'm like when I get up at, uh, in the morning. So, <laughs> I don't turn the camera on, but I have been making a bunch of stuff. I've been embroidering a lot, um, because I love my embroidery machine. If anybody know me, you know I'm a sewer, so I love that sewing thing i like the sound of the machines and and making and creating stuff and i've been making stuff for my new grandbaby who's only a couple of months away so yeah back these are the twirling dials i got these these are the auto ships and i think there's one more auto ship away i'm not really sure i think but i think it's one more for this set then i got this from craft day it was these, um, I think I got the auto ship on this too. The, um, crafter's companion, like build a card, create a card where you put this, you cut up this out the front of cards. And I thought this was cute. And the one that I seen them demonstrate, I think was the tree. 
I think this is the one I seen her demonstrate because I have not been watching um, the Crafters Companion. I got Crafters Companion overload. Hi, guys. Is I thank you for joining me. Thank you. I miss y'all too. I miss seeing uh, all y'all names pop up and being able to talk. I just haven't been videoing. I have not. And I'm sneaking in a video today because today is my 29th wedding anniversary and my husband is cooking me breakfast. So I said, let me go do this video because I don't know what I'll be doing later on today. Because <laughs> so much be going on. Okay, this is part of that... Uh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, I bought these at the last minute. I bought these at the very last minute. Um, only because I seen her do this tree dye because I was flipping through YouTube. And I was like, I think that'd be cute um, for scenes. And that's why I bought it. But I, cause I wasn't going to buy it. Cause I only bought literally, I only bought two things for craft day. This one and the other one I'm coming up with next. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's been a wonderful 29 years. You know, we, everybody be like, oh, we've had our ups and downs and what? No, me and my husband has had a wonderful 29 years. Everybody have pro. He in there screaming. Everybody have problems. I'm not saying we don't have problems, but it ain't, the roller coaster is, it's been a good roller coaster. Even in the bad times, because we had each other, it wasn't as bad as it could be. So, I'm, I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed. I have a husband who really is, he, he deals with all of my shenanigans. <laughs> no, that, and that's what you have to have. You have to have somebody that can deal with all your shenanigans. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. We, um, I actually have to go to work later on. I have a school board meeting tonight. <laughs> yeah, I barely use any of it. Any, and I, I have so much stuff <clears throat> that I decided that I'm going, um, I'm going to limit what I'm really spending for real, even though I keep saying I'm going on a, another freeze, but it's just, everything is being recycled now. If you notice, like. Every time you see stuff, it's kind of like been there, done that type thing. And so that's the one of my one of my problems too, because they're fresh and new ideas, but not really. They're they're something that's already been done. So yeah, this one is from that one spinner die. And I love that because of these little tiny dies, which now I mean dies, Jesus, stamps. So now you get a chance to use all the small, tiny ones. You get a chance to use the small, tiny stamps for something when you use that one. Um, and it's it, and it's a recycle. If you if you remember this uh, die set from LDRS is the same thing that came from um, Kim uh, K Designs. I think that's where her name is. What is that woman name? But she made the spinner thing. Let me see if I can put it right quick and see. Because, of course, I can't find it when I need it. When I'm trying to explain to you what I'm talking about. But it's it's the Mandela die. Oh, Gina K. That's her. Gina K. created this already. And I pulled it out because I had pulled it out because I was like, this is, reminds me of something. But this is the same. Okay, really, Shaniva. The glare is horrible because I'm trying to. I have a new light up here and it's super bright. But see that this is Gina K's thing, and it's the same thing. It's that Mandela, and you create a reef type of thing. Same thing. So all of the stuff is kind of recycling itself, and it's a, it's just a lot. Yeah, it's Miss Ware. It's the same thing. Everybody is recycling and stuff, and repeats. And then, and this is this this the fun, the funny part. They say world launch. Now we don't seen it on HSN, but then you tell us the world launch <laughs> for, but it's not the world launch because we don't already seen it on Crafts Companion. <laughs> so it's not the world launch of anything, 
or they don't buy all of it and you only get four of them when the show start and so you have to order something from Crafts Companion to get the full set of it if you like me and have full set syndrome you have to go buy the full set from them so that be annoying too <laughs> Because now, then I have to spend $120 to get that shipping. Yeah, yeah, see, mind me, that is, that is such my husband. He he goes with the flow. Uh, he, he deals with all my headaches. And if I was married to me, I'd probably be like, I want a divorce. <laughs> Because I always got an idea and plan and something. I want to go somewhere. I do something on the spur of the moment. And he just be like, okay, honey. <laughs> but I never get us in trouble. That's the thing. I never get us in any, any trouble. If I do something, I've already thought it out. I never get us in financial situations or legal situations. It's always fun stuff. So that's probably the reason why he loved it. Because I'll be like, hey, right now my new thing is, y'all. I want an RV and I want to travel the world and go to new places and find new craft stuff. <laughs> yes, Bobby, craft day is too often. I so believe that it's too, every three months is too much for craft day. And I understand that they have to market, but if they would use my perspective, they wouldn't have this problem. How about launch a project, a product like the year of crafts? They did that year of crafts and then have people do like they do in the auto ship. So it's the same thing, building off the thing, but you're not getting so much new stuff and getting wore out with it. Yeah, it just don't seem special to me anymore. You are so right. I just believe that. Like, it's just too much. It's too much. Whoever the designers for Crafters Companion, though, those designers uh, can draw. Like, those stamps, that's what pulls me in is the stamp sets. They're so beautifully drawn or created, and that's what I love. Um, this one is the Hidden Message Diamond Press, which this is the cutest little thing. I really have, but of course, you know, this is another recycle because... Who has this? Uh, lawn Fawn. Lawn Fawn? Yeah, Lawn Fawn has this type of thing too. Yeah, it's too much. Oh my God, trying to get to that 120 so I won't have to pay shipping? Oh, we. So I buy crazy stuff like glue. Now I got 15 containers of glue, but to get to the threshold, I buy more. So I, I haven't really, I have not been buying a lot of of um crafty stuff at all i've been buying stuff that i need for like my um sewing side or my embroidery but not really that much of that either so yeah this is the fruit this is what is this yeah it's the fruit embellishment so it's really cute it's like springtime and refreshing with those refreshing cards so if you like anything dealing with fruit and stuff this is the perfect one this is the perfect one. This is funny. I, my my software, um, they did an update, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> I was thinking about changing it, but since I know it, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to pay the update, but it's driving me nuts. Okay, so this is the other one that I bought from um, Crafters Companion. Let me pull you back. So I don't want y'all to see my pajamas. That's why I ain't do the camera. <laughs> um, but this, when I seen her demonstrate the build a bouquet, I was like, I'm buying it. And so that's the only reason why I got this one. Cause I love flowers. I believe you should give people flowers while they live. It's just a thing with me. Now I don't like flowers, live flowers because I don't like seeing them die, but I believe you should give people their flowers where they live. Don't be trying to put pile all the flowers on top of the casket. Give people flowers now so they can appreciate them. And so when I seen her demonstrate this and all of the beautiful colors that they did, I had to buy it. I love this. And so these are the only two things that I bought from Craft Day, which is weird because, you know, I will pile up a bunch of stuff, but I didn't. 
And this is just, and it has all of the dyes to them. That is another thing that I love. It has all of the dyes. But I'm not sure. Was this an auto ship? I don't know if it was an auto ship or not. I'm not sure. It would be lovely if it was an auto ship because you know what this will go with? The 12 months of um the 12 months of flowers that we got from Crafters Companion earlier. Because you could put the stamps those in the background or use them to fill in the vases. But look at that. All of the beautiful stamps. Of course, you can't see it without you knowing something behind it. There we go. So, I think this is very lovely. They and it, it included everything. That's another thing that I liked. It really included everything. Are they? I didn't see that. They you Are they sister brands? I will not be surprised because they do. They, they do share a lot of things consistently. Because, and then the, um, I just seen another thing that was similar, I, but I think Crafters Companion came out with this one, is they have the bare bookmarks. Lawn Fawn did that several years ago because I made them before the pandemic. And so now they just, Crafters Companion just came out with them. But I wouldn't even, it would not surprise me if some of these companies are sister companies um, or parent companies are the other ones. See, I, I don't, I, I'm telling you, the only two things I bought was these because I really thought, and I wouldn't have bought them if I, if I, I wouldn't have bought this set if I hadn't seen her demo, demo that and it was just so pretty the way they put it together. But when I seen this, I was like, I got to have those flowers, <coughs> which I love these. And I'm going to do something with these probably um, because I'm going to be doing um, uh, thank you cards for the baby shower. So I might do some of the personal thank you cards with um, with this one because this is just beautiful to me. Okay, so uh, and I have not yet heard about um Anna Griffin's uh virtual conference yet. Has anybody heard anything about the virtual conference? I haven't heard anything and it's November and this is already only a few months away. I hope she don't flake and don't have it cuz that was a wonderful conference last year. Um and the one we just did in May, oh, I, I loved it. It was it was wonderful. And I'm not even a scrapbooker, but all the parts and pieces was wonderful. Oh, it's not an auto ship with it. Okay, okay. So I I was wondering because I would I would buy an auto ship for that. <laughs> okay, so the last but not least is the Year of Crafts auto ship. I got this in last week, um, and it's really cute. It's really a cute set. And you can tell Crafters Companion stuff, no matter what. The drawing stuff is wonderful. Like these little boots. These little boots is another one. Where did I see them little boots at? Um, this is that set that... Uh, reveal wheel, uh, reveal thing. Okay, look. See the little boots? And there they go right there. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. It might be on finishing school. I'm going to have to make sure that I, that I ch chime in. Because I'm like, I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, ain't that funny? It's the same thing. And she has another uh, another one with, with boots and stuff too. But I got this set. I think the last video I did was the one when I showed this. And I lost that video too. I did the um reveal, the last live I was on. I lost it. All of my videos. I think I have one video that's still available. But this is the Year of Crafts. And it's so cute. This stupid light is getting on my nerve. Oops, don't fall down. Um, 
Yeah, so this is the year of crafts, and this is these are some great ideas. Now, if they would just pull from stuff like this, they wouldn't have to come up with something every month because these are really cute. Which I'm, I understand they have to make money. I get it, but they designers must work overtime. Okay, so as can somebody answer this question for me? Um, <laughs> do you see these stencils? All of these stencils and stuff that's in this book. They're in here. They're in here. All of these little templates, and you you draw them, and then you cut them out with scissors. If you gave me a 12 by 12 cutting surface, now this 12 by 12 cutting surface can cut everything, why you give me these right here as a part of a 12 by 12 cutting system and not create the rest of it? Even these right here is you it's they can fit in a regular machine if you think about the what they gave us all of these little templates this is one side of a, a bag why don't you just make this a die this will fit in a regular machine but now I have to trace this all out trace it up make sure I have all the stuff then trace around the edge, and then cut this out. This is stupid. Crafters Companion, you may not ever watch my video, but I'm telling you, this is extra work for us. Just give us the bag die. You, you charge us enough for this stuff, just give us the bag die. And even in the big machine, the 12 by 12 which I did not buy, they gave us a bunch of these templates. Now, this is a side stepper. I'm not about to take the time to do this. Because you got to put all your lines on, and then you got to score it all, and then you got to cut it all. You might as well just do it by itself instead of tracing. I can't stand these crazy stencil thingies. And I don't know what most of them be. Look at this. This is the to make a, um, what do you call this stupid thing? <laughs> mini album. This is the mini album thing. Yeah, I agree with you guys desire. They are cheaper. That's what it is. But this is a mini album. Didn't you just give me a mini album die? What is this? This is some filler stuff. Because you just gave me a mini. They got the Precious Memories mini album die is this. This was a waste of my money. This is a waste of y'all money and time. This is a die. <laughs> like, these, these are, they're weird to me. I give me some stencils like this now i love these kind of stencils because i could put my ink through it but this right here i will never use these ever and i have a collection of them and when i start giving away stuff these gonna be first on the pile line like you can have them because i don't want them <laughs> i don't want them i can't even get them back in the bag but look at this rain stencil now this is gorgeous i love this little teardrop rain stencil because it can be used virtual, virtual, it's versatile. There you go. Okay, and then we got some gorgeous ribbon as they always have. I love ribbon. Um, and then they have the die for the boot and the umbrella and the teardrops, which is really cute. And it the, it do match the umbrella and the boot do match, but I don't think the teardrops match. Nothing. No. But the, um, what is that little piece of paper I had? Oh. See, that umbrella really is really cute. Yeah, I, I think it's, the, those templates are stupid. You know what, Miss Laura? You might just be right. You might just be right. Because for people who don't have die cutting machines and don't want to invest or can't invest, that is a good way. For, you're right. Okay, so I'm not going to be that hard on them then. You you are right. Because for a person who don't have a die cutter, then they can use it. You're right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so this is, yeah, this is that 
one. I love this right here. I, I love this. Um, they the stamps. Oh. This is. I'm going to start doing the year of crafts. I just have it. I, th those boxes are sitting by my desk. I'm going to have to stamp these out because they look so small. Oh, I like that. I didn't even notice that. Pamper kit, survival kit, crafting kit, sewing kit. I'm going to have to figure out something for that. Hmm. Huh. Never even noticed. Oh, and then this is a set of flowers. Thank you. Oh, did you? I bet they look beautiful. Yeah, and so they they are small, but thanks for helping me grow. I guess you combine them with. I'm sorry, I'm looking at them like y'all not trying to see. Um, this light over here. I have a ring light right here because I'm too cheap to replace the lights I have. Oh, I'm. Oh, this is the um year of crafts box. They're auto ship, you have crafts. And then of course, these are the envelope bases. I did <laughs> I did my uh daughter's invitations and I did them five by seven for the baby shower, and I did them in a, this like this is the diaper raffle one, the one for the diaper raffle. And but it's this design. And I used the Crafters Companion envelopes because I had so many envelopes in 5x7 from Crafters Companion that I did 100 invitations and I didn't have to buy an envelope. <laughs> yes, I used all of these from these uh, boxes. Also, they have these um, what die cuts. These die cuts are really convenient. Sometimes all you have to do is color them in and you have a die cut. So I do like these. I like these die cuts because I'll go in there and just pull it out and glue it on as a sentiment. Oh, you didn't get... Yeah, I like this, Miss Molly. Hi, Molly. I didn't see you pop up in there. Yes, I love this year of crafts. It's really nice. And it kind of, see, this is the kind of stuff that I like. I like when stuff work together. So even though I'm getting a new box, it's working together with something I already have. Oh, I like these raindrops. Okay, yeah, not, not so much on the plaid shirt. I like that. Not really so much on the stripies. Whoa, <laughs> that hurts your eyeballs. Do this in small doses. <laughs> That's cute. This kind of look like a uh, kiwi. You can make a kiwi card. Yeah, not too much on these polka dots. I love these blue polka dots though. I like that. See now, I like this one, even though it's busy. But it'll make a good background. I have so much Crafters Companion 8x8 paper. <gasps> I love the Argyles. This will make a good uh, tie or shirt for the men's. Um, the, do y'all have the Stampin' Up! men's? It's called Handsomely Suited. And it's the die cut to make the men's collar shirts for Father's Day. We were supposed to have a whole class with this, and I didn't get the the uh, all the stuff in time, so I didn't have it. We might have to do a make a men's special day or something. They have a free paper downloads. I didn't know about that. Where is it? Is it on Crafters Companion site? I don't know. Because y'all know I have a, a computer. Oh, I didn't even see this. These are tags. Oh, wow. That's nice. They gave us die-cut tags. 
Y'all can't see that with all this glare. What's wrong with me? <clears throat> yeah, I love that. It is perfect. It reminds me of my granddad's shirts. Look, they have die cut tags. That's cute. Is this the first time they've done this? Isn't it with the die cut tags? Crafter's Companion, are y'all running out of ideas for the year of crafts already? And then this is the paper. Because I have that 12 by 12, um, the 12 by 12 printer, the, that prints true 12 by 12 paper. And so I can print out all the paper and get the true, um, 12 by 12. So I love they solid colors. Like they really do match really well. All they solid colors. It's a good color palette. And I, but I seen this color pattern might be recycled from one of them other ones. I got a box of up, up on top. Yeah, I have one of their uh, Crafters Companion CDs, and you could print out. But I never knew they had that. Oh, the download section of Crafters Companion. Okay, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. We definitely can use that idea when you're looking for paper. Well, I don't need any more paper, but that is a good idea. I just really want somebody to come over here and take some of this paper out of my house because I have so much of it. I really do. I have so much of it. Okay, let's get back to the book so we can see what the book looked like because that's where I started at and got diverted. Y'all know I can't stay in one um on one thing at a time. Let me put this back in this little thing so I lose it. Okay. So this is the Year of Crafts book. Let me move this out the way. Okay, let's see what the Year of Crafts books have for us. I'm going to come down a little closer. Try not to be. Let me see if I can. Oh, okay, there we go. I turned that down a little bit so we can see a little bit. Nope, it's the same card stock. Hey, young You okay? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm still standing. Okay, what? Good. Yeah, that card stock is the same stuff they put in all the rest of the stuff. Um, let's see. No, this is cardstock. This is like the regular cardstock that they put in, in, um, not, oh, I know what you're talking about, the paper stuff. Oh, yeah. This is like 32 pound paper-ish. Not, the, the, the solid one is cardstock, but the paper is more like a 32 pound, 30, uh, 45 pounds, 65, not 65. It's not that, that strong. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, it's that, that card stock is thinner. Yeah, that's my thing. Like I'm getting to the point where that's another reason why I'm, I'm starting to not buy so much is because like, it's just, too much it's too much and now that i don't have my office anymore i can't like come on y'all let's craft let's make something for the community and do it and and i can get rid of it which is how i was getting rid of so much yeah you have the HP, oh, that's the HP printer program. Is that where you get ink every month? That's different. This, see, this would be good for somebody who loves to grow plants and stuff to send them a thinking of you or something like that. Um. 
somebody on YouTube was doing a Year of Craft series where they made every one of the things in the book. Um, but I can't remember who that was. It was a man. It was a man who was doing it. Faux embroidery. Did I say embossing? I got embroidery on the brain. <laughs> I like this. I like how they're doing this this um, color arrangement. Because that's that one paper that I was talking about. And so that really looks good as a background page. I didn't see these little dots in our... Oh, maybe they in the big box. I to say, I, we didn't get any of those. But it's got to be in the big box. But what is this faux embossing? Take your die cutting skills to a creative adventure to create fabulous faux embossed designs. So, how you do it? You didn't tell us. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, I see. So, when the, in order to do the full boss emboss designs, you color both of them the same color. And yes, okay, I'm coming, hon. I'm almost done. Thank you. Oh wow. Does does it when you print does your printer print true 12 by 12? That's cute. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. But where do you get the where do you get that? Do you cut it yourself? I'm sorry, I'm talking to my own self over here. This um you must cut these out of the paper yourself. That's the way it look. Let's see. Cut two three by four squares of bright blue cardstock. Two of this one and secure each color. Stick a... Wait a minute. I'm confused. I'm going to have to go back and, and figure this out. And this will be one of my projects. This will be one of the ones because you have to have to cut this paper with all of these first, you die cut it out, and then you match these up and color them the same color, and then you put them together, and then that makes the full die cut. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh, adhesive. Look at this. These make some good kids' birthday cards. Look at how bright and airy that is. Some get well cards or something. That's really pretty. I love these hexagon ones. Okay. See? Now that's what a stencil is for. <laughs> these are so cute. I like the fact that, that we have all the parts and pieces to make it in the book. That's what I like. You don't have to go searching for stuff. Mr. Early. Charles, come here. Super cute. Oh, here go the hexagon templates. Well, that's good. They give you the template to cut out the hexagon. One of my uh, subscribers said happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. Woohoo! I got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. I think I... I think I got this. No, I didn't. This is the only one uh, dye that I've been wanting, and I haven't gotten this. This watering can. They had it on HSN. I don't know if they still have it, but if they do, I'm going to buy it. That's what that little thing is for, is to make the little mini albums. So you'll be able to make it with the, um, uh, what do you, the stencil. You'll be able to make it and the pages with the stencil. That's what that little thing was that I couldn't figure out. It makes a little bitty box of some type. 
or a pocket. It makes a pocket. I didn't know what that was. But y'all want to see some gorgeous mini album making? Go on, um, oh, really? Dr. E, if Dr. E was on here, she could tell me. Thank you. Yes, he is, Bobby. He is a keeper. <laughs> he is a keeper. <coughs> this is cute. Father's Day ideas. They're a little cheesy looking, but they're cute. <laughs> oh, that's cute. The little wallet card. Now, that is really cute. I would do that. I really would. I would do that. Oh. But what is this? Oh, it tells you how to make it. It's really easy. Yeah. I would do that. That's really cute. Yeah, it's a pocket. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, what is this? I remember back in the day making these little shirts. I remember a long time ago, because I made one for my husband for uh, Father's Day with a gift card or something. And what's old is new again. And y'all know we got 50,000 of these boxes. I have... I think Crafts Can't Companion just came out with a box like this um, with the new cutter. I think that was one of the templates, too. Gable box, that's what it's called. What What was the... I can't think of what that woman name is. A seed pack is how they... Okay. I'm like, I know it's some kind of pack, seeds or something. But it's a lot of beautiful ideas in here. Oh, this is cute. A treat bag. That's nice. Super circles. What is that? Paper Phenomenon. That's her. Paper Phenomenon makes the best albums. I have um, uh, a lot of her album designs. And when you make them, oh my God, they're beautiful. Oh, look at that. How you make a rosette flower. That's, a, that's cute. I would not do that, but it's cute. You know what? I just seen this. Somewhere else. Who made this? Um, Sizzix or Spellbinders? They made a die that you can do that. Or is it? It's Spellbinders because it was part. Of, it was one of the kits of the month, I think. I think that was one of the kit of the months that I just seen. Let me see because. <clears throat> The, when I did the haul for the kit of the month, this that was one of the videos that was destroyed. And the bad part is I don't know what I did, so I can't replace them. Ah, you know, my light just fell on me because I'm fo over here fooling around with stuff. Stay up there. I'm looking for this Spellbinders box because I know I see no little crazy little flowers. There it is. See, I, I can remember when I see stuff like that is to make those little daffodilly flowers. That's the same thing. See, it's just. Oh, what I? Y'all, my phone fell in the garbage can. <laughs> I got a little trash can connected to my desk, and I'm like, "What fell? It was my phone." Yeah, is this it? Hi, Bev. Thank you for joining me. Oh, did they buy me? I ain't know that. Yeah, but look at that. I told y'all everything's recycled. <laughs> Everything is recycled. And I can remember when I see it. I know I'd be looking for it. That's really cute. Nobody, in in my opinion, can do flowers better than uh, heartfelt. I love heartfelt flowers because they're so dimensional. 
I love that. That's what that little thing is. I didn't know what that was neither. That little piece, that little stencil thing, you put it down and you make sure that you write. You see that? So you can write straight. That's what that little piece is. So you can write straight in your, uh, yeah, but how many people don't use labels? I, I use labels, so I don't really write that much. That's cute. Was this part of, this was a gift card holder. That's that other little piece that I didn't know what it was that, it's a gift card holder or a business card holder. And this little treat thingy is a die. She got a die that looked just like this. And see, I love I love these little gable boxes. These little boxes are really good for parties and giving people little bitty gifts and stuff. So I love this, but I have her dies for that. But for people who don't have those dies, this they are they are really nice. Just make sure when you make these to put a piece of cardboard or something in the bottom of it because the bottom will fall out on you. Yes, you're right. Yep, yep, you're right, Molly. It's it's like everybody follow their own trends. You bring it out this month, six months from now, I'm going to bring it out. But I'm going to make mine a little bit different so mine don't look like yours. <laughs> that That's what this is. I'm telling you, this, uh, this thing here, the Lawn Fawn brought it out. Now they have it. And I made this one um, the other day. What did I do with it? Oh. I just seen it on my desk. My desk is, is, is not junky. I just moved stuff straight upward. But I must have didn't move that upward because I don't see it. But yeah, I I made this one, but I've had this one for years. I had this one for years. Where is that little thing at? Yeah, I ain't never find nothing when I'm looking for it. Oh, well. So, that's the Year of Crafts book. A lot of good ideas in here. And then, of course, I have the binder. Let me back y'all up. Okay, and so, of course, I have the binder. And then, what you do is, this is issue number two. How come it seems like this should be issue number like four? It just seemed like this year of crafts been going on for a long, long time. And you take the center of the book and you slide it right in here. So you can keep the books fresh and out the way. Now, this little binder system, I think this is wonderful. Is it going up again? It just went up in January, didn't it? It was because I just bought a book of stamps. I was like, whoa. I remember when you could have a 29 cent stamp. Where's that little thing? I hate when I can't find what I'm looking for. Okay, Mr. Early, I'm coming. So, yes, I wanted to get on and say hello to everybody. I got to go. Mr. Early fixed me breakfast. And he's like, get on in here and eat this breakfast. 
So I just wanted to come in and show y'all today. You can't even see this. Let me turn this light off right here so this glare can go away. There we go. Um, so that you can get a chance to see um, some of the crafty stuff from my haul and talk and stuff. Are they behind on shipping again? Yeah, you're right. What you get is the forever stamps. Yeah. Oh, they going up. So they're going up three cents again because I, I'm almost positive we paid $55 for that roll of stamps we bought. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Because I, look, I get tired of that. Yeah, he made me breakfast every day. He liked to cook. I hate cooking. I went to, to, uh, I went to chef school and found out that I didn't like cooking. I was like, yeah, but I, I kind of already knew it. But they told us, um, I love decorating cakes, like big cakes and stuff. And so I decided I wanted to go and, um, learn how to do it professionally so I could do it correctly. And one of my professors was like, it's better to be a full cook than just a baker. So if you had to fill in somewhere, you could do it because we used to have a restaurant. And I went to chef school and hated it. <laughs> Miss Word, that's funny. <laughs> he set everything up, but you got to cook it. See, that'll be me. I set everything up for you, but I ain't going to cook it. I don't, I just, I know, and I know how to cook. It's not that I don't know how to cook. I just don't like it. I just don't like it at all. I never really have liked to cook, but I've, I know how because we had a restaurant, which is probably why I don't like to cook because if I had to cook for the restaurant and it was just like, oh my God, torture. We had a seafood, uh, restaurant. Seafood. What, what? Shrimp, fish, and chicken or something like that. I don't know. But I could not stand it. My, it was my mother's dream before she passed away. And she loved it. And she wanted to do it. And we had to go in there and, and cook and place orders and fix orders. And I hate it. And that's probably why I don't like to cook. But I can cook anything. That's the crazy part. I know how to cook almost anything. And I can look in a refrigerator and I can... I can look in the refrigerator, see what the ingredients is, and make something up. I, I can do that, and it'll taste fabulous, but I just hate doing it. I'm coming right now. All right, y'all. He's like, the food is ready. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining me. I love being on here with y'all. Y'all make my day so much brighter. I really appreciate it. I'm about to go celebrate and have breakfast with my husband and um, celebrate my anniversary and enjoy the day. So I want y'all all to enjoy the day and don't let life get you down. Don't let life knock you out. Keep on doing good things um, no matter what. And I will be back with my next video on the other side. Um, I'll show y'all some of my new things I've been making for the baby and for my Juneteenth celebration uh, craft show next month. Which when it'll be when I officially launch all of the products that I have. So, thank you so much. I'm coming, Mr. Early, right now. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.